Hello again to you. The position in front of us requires white to checkmate in four moves, which is no easy task. I'm going to give you a few clues and then I'd strongly recommend for anyone who wants to try and solve this problem to pause the video and try and find the key move and the variations and then come back and see how successful you are. It took me a while to get this one and it's well worth giving the time over to, to trying to solve it because it's very instructive. What I would say first of all is that bearing in mind White only has this one rook here. Should he move it away at all, it enables black to take this pawn and then move on to take this. The only way that white can protect this pawn really is by withdrawing the bishop to here and then he'd open up this king side for black and, and give those pieces possibilities. So what you want to do here is you don't move anything other than the rook. Because if you move the king or the bishop, like I say, it frees up black's king side. If you move this knight, the pawn can promote. If you move the rook off the A line, of course, black can take this pawn. And if you promote these immediately, you won't get anywhere. Another clue is you will be able to do something over here in one of the variations eventually. So, bearing all of that in mind, can you see the key move? One final clue is these pieces are over here for a very good reason, and they relate to pawn promotions. So, with all of that in mind, plus the fact that there will be the Indian theme featured in the solution, can you see what the key move is? Well, in determining what the key move is, you have to, to see quite a distance ahead and each variation is a totally different sort of a solution. I'll give you the key move, it's rook to a8. Now here black is presented with the following replies. If we deal with this pawn move first and then we'll look at the various rook moves. So what does white play here? Bearing in mind that he's aiming for stalemate. Let us not forget that. We have to be constantly on our guard that we don't allow black to secure a stalemate. So how do we avoid stalemate? Like I said before, if you move the rook away from here, black can take this. Is this a problem here? And if not, why not? Well, it isn't a problem. And the reason being, believe it or not, we take the rook here, which looks an extraordinary device because we're leaving black with one move to take here. So how do we deal with this? Well, this is the variation where we come back and we cover that pawn. And if you look at that, black has two choices. He can either move this pawn or he can move his king back. It doesn't matter really because in both cases that is checkmate on the fourth move and that is really neat, isn't it? This goes against what I said before but I did mention that in one of the variations you would be able to do that and that is the variation. So b4 doesn't work. So let's put this back. And that is the starting position, and rook a8 is the key move. So instead of b4, what about if black takes the rook? Which is pretty obvious, because now he's threatening, of course, this business. So what do we do here? Well, we clearly we have to take that rook, don't we? But the question is, of these pieces, which one is it to which we promote? Just take a look at it. Can you see what white is wanting to do here. You have to be able to see it. Well, clearly, you want to protect this pawn on a2 for the moment. So you're forcing him on his second move to play here. Now what? Well, now we have a really neat rejoinder and the only one to do it, and this is why it has to be a queen, because we played it here. We're forcing Blake to take this pawn 
And then you see it? Yes, isn't this really superb how he delivers checkmate simultaneously covering this pawn and of course the bishop covers the knight and that is checkmate. Wonderful. It took me a while to figure that one out, I must confess, so congratulations to any of you out there who did manage to see it. It's not obvious. But then again, none of these variations is obvious. So again, that is the starting position. We play rook a8, we've looked at b4, and we've looked at rook captures. What about if he plays here? We're going to take it one move at a time, moving kingside to queenside. How do we deal with this? Well, again, we have to take the rook. But to what do we promote it? The clues are there with these pieces. Well, yes, the next one in line, of course. <laughs> I'm helping considerably on this. But this is not the end of it. We promote to a rook. Why do we promote to a rook? Well, the only move that black has is to here. Then what do we do? Can you see it? Yeah, Indian theme number one, we go here. He has to take the knight. And then, yes, rook to there is checkmate. He's double checked and everything is covered. And that is really neat. I saw that one very quickly. I'm on the lookout for Indian themes. And so that is not going to cause me any problems. And I can't emphasize just how good this Indian theme is for ensuring that you unstalmate an opponent. So again, rook here. We've tried this. What about to here? Now then, the clue is there. Can you see it? Yes. We take the rook and we promote to a bishop. Now this one is less obvious. So what's going on here? Well, again, he only has the one move, doesn't he? So what do we do? Yes, the Indian theme bishop a sucks this time. We're forcing him to take this pawn. And then do you see the rejoinder? Yes, this is really superb, isn't it? Checkmate. And you notice we have two light colored bishops on the board here. Fantastic. So there's one variation left. Just put all of this back and let's take a look at the final variation in this magnificent problem. After rook a8, so to reiterate, we have tried b4, rook takes, rook d8, rook c8. What about this? What do we do here? Well, again, we have to take off and we have our piece ready and waiting, don't we? Why does it have to be a knight? This is not obvious at all. Well, it can't be a bishop because the Indian theme wouldn't work here. You wouldn't be able to cover this pawn. You need to cover that pawn because he's going to reply here. Now you employ the Indian theme with the knight. He has to take here. And then now, of course, all becomes clear. Knight to there. Check. Covers the pawn. Mate. That is a problem that won second to third prize. I think we'll upgrade Valentin Filipov's effort here from 1938 and give him a first prize with magnificent honours. It's a wonderful problem and I trust that you enjoyed that one and goodbye for now.